try and stare at my ceiling, but I'm right here on the other side of the screen. Let's go through question one. So now we're going to talk about this sort of step by step. As soon as we see that there is an x squared, that is telling us that it is a quadratic equation. And when it's a quadratic equation, we want to move everything to one side and make it equal to zero, which we already have which is cool. The other thing we know about it being a quadratic is that we are going to need to factorize. Now, when we factorize, we think about our four numbers. The first number we think of is highest common factor. Second thing we think of is difference of two squares or some um, or difference of cubes. Okay, the third thing we think of is trinomial. The fourth thing we think of is grouping. And these numbers are important. The second one means that there are two terms. Trinomial means that there are three terms. Grouping, there are normally four terms. Sometimes there can be more, sometimes there can be less. Okay, so when we're looking at this, the first thing I can see is I definitely have a highest common factor because I can take four out of both terms. So I'm going to take my four out and I'm left with x squared minus 16 is equal to zero. Is everyone happy with that step? Hopefully. Okay. Who thinks they can tell me where I go to from here? So at the moment, I've got 4x squared minus 16 is equal to 0. Does anyone think that they can tell us what that next step would be? Ma'am? Yes. Difference of two squares. Good. Excellent. What am I gonna <laughs> what am I gonna do with the four that's on the outside of the bracket? Um, I think you bring it down. Yeah, well, I can kind of, all I need to do with it is I can divide both sides by four and zero divided by four is just zero, right? So I just land up with x squared minus 16, which is equal to zero. Thanks, McClear. Okay, now I'm going to do difference of two squares. So I'm going to have x plus four, x minus four is equal to zero, which means x is equal to negative four or x is equal to positive four. And that is our first question done who landed up getting that one right let me know either use a happy emoji or um just tell me in the chat nice good job guys cool 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 Woo! that's okay if you didn't do it that way okay so today we are going to focus on linear inequalities and next week we're going to focus on simultaneous equations. Who has done inequalities in class? So an inequality is when you've got something that looks like this. Let's have a look. Okay, so, so a couple of people have done them already. That's cool. Okay, so for those of you who haven't done it yet, I'm just going to um, explain it sort of very clearly with these first few ones. And then I'm going to give you some that you're going to try by yourselves. All right. So let's have a look at this first question. This first question is not an inequality. This first question is just a linear equation. Okay. This is a linear equation. And we use the word linear because it is a single x. Okay, so it's just x. We only have one value for x. A quadratic, where we have x squared, we get two values for x, but a linear, we only have one. Okay, so a linear equation, we keep our things with variables on one side and we move our numbers onto the other side. So here I have 2x is equal to 10. Now to find x, I just divide both sides by 2, and so x is equal to 5. Now that one should have felt nice and easy to everyone on this call. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping. <laughs> okay. Now the one on the right is exactly the same equation, except instead of an equal sign, I've got a less than sign. Okay. But we follow the exact same processes. We have to take something into account a little bit later on, but for the moment, we just follow the same process. So we don't get scared about that less than sign. The first thing we do is we move our 10 over. So remember, it would become positive when it jumps over. So it's going to change sign. Then we divide both sides by 2. And so x 
has to be smaller than five. And all that that means is that if I had a number line, if I had zero, one, two, three, four, five, for example, just a little number line, this is saying that X has to be smaller than five. So X is not allowed to be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It has to be a number that is smaller than five. That's all that that means. Okay. And that would be our final answer. So an inequality means it's not, it's just means that there isn't an equal sign. There's going to be a greater than or less than sign or greater than and equal to. So this is exactly the same question, except instead of a less than sign, I have a greater than sign. I could also have greater and equal to. They all mean the same thing. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move that negative 10 over. So 2x needs to be greater than 10. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And so x needs to be greater than 5. And so what that means is if I had a number line and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm saying that x has to be a number that is bigger than 5. That's all that that means. Okay. So this is just a very, very, very quick introduction into it. Um, we're going to start with nice, small, easy ones like this. So it's not going to be anything scary. And as soon as it changes, I will do another example with you before you give it a go. Okay. Um, so can you try just quickly? So this one shouldn't take you long at all. I'm just going to keep it in the same way. So I'm going to say 3x um, plus 15 needs to be smaller than zero. Can you all please do that question for me quickly? Just this one over here in the little cloud and tell me what my answer is going to be. Shouldn't take you too long. Don't panic with it. Okay, so I like that there's a, there's a negative five, but where are my sides? So X is greater than, less than. There we go. Now I'm getting some signs. Thank you. Jabulo has made my heart happy with those signs. Okay. So we just do it step by step. We say 3X is less than negative 15. We move that 15 over. We divide both sides by three. And so X has Hey, Jennifer, I'm not sure if it's my side, but you seem to be breaking. She broke. Okay, no problem. Let me quickly open this so that we can continue on our side. Yes, sir. On that my screen quickly as well. So it's on my desktop and what to be okay. Just give me a moment. I'm still opening it so I can share my screen with you. Mm -hmm. Should be this one. Okay. I'm okay, Ben. Okay. I'll tell you if it is. Ah, yes, guys, it is. Can you like Yeah, call him. Maybe aware with your audio. Let's just be aware with our audio. Confirm that you can see my screen. Sorry, guys. I got kicked out. There's a huge storm here, and I think it like knocked the internet. So I've just moved on to something else. Okay. Sorry. No problem. If I get kicked, I was just if I get kicked out again. Yeah. Okay, let me start I sharing get... then. We can continue. I might get kicked out again, and then Mr. Shongwe, you might need to take over. I, the storm seems to be very scary outside my window. 
very loud. Um, okay, so let's try one step up. So we got to x is less than negative five. One step up. Now, this is still like a nice, easy question. Don't let it scare you. There's nothing really that new about it. The only thing that's different is that we first have to do a little bit of work before we move things around. So in this example, the first thing I want to do is I need to be careful to do my distribution. And once I've done my distribution, I can solve for x. But otherwise, this is exactly the same as the other questions we've done. And a nice linear equation um, that you've done since grade 8. So don't panic. Okay. So give this one a go. And once you've got an answer, let me know what your answer is. And then we're going to try something different. Kaylee, can you still not see the question? Okay, great. That distribution was great. So the 2x plus 8, that was awesome. I'm just going to write that step in for those of you who have done that already. Okay, so 2x plus 8 minus 16 needs to be greater than 0. And I'm just going to work with these numbers over here. So 2x minus 8 needs to be greater than 0. We're going to move that 8 over. So 2x needs to be greater than 8, which means x needs to be greater than 4. Mom. Yay! Yes, hello. What happened to the 16? Okay, so the 16, what I did was I said 8 minus 16, which gave me negative 8. Thank you. Mukhle, how can I help? What if you said 8 minus 16? I, I did. What? So 8, 8 minus 16 gives me minus 8. Oh, I meant negative 16, negative 8. Yeah, so that, that then I would have gotten negative 24, but then that wouldn't have been right anymore. Huh? Why? Ma'am, I, and then I did divide by two, divide by two on the left and the right, and I got negative 12. Yeah, so this step over here, that's great that you divided by two, but be careful, this is not a negative eight, it's a positive eight. So that's saying positive eight minus 16, not negative eight minus 16. Ma'am, I took yeah. it over the border, which... Okay, so if we take it over the border then what we will have is we would have minus 8 plus 16. It's not going to be minus. Uh, 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 yeah. oh, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Okay, Avuzwa, I see that hand. Ma'am, uh, hi, ma'am, first of all. Ma'am, I'm confused, ma'am. How did we get to 74, ma'am? X equals 74. <laughs> My sweetheart, it's not a 7. <laughs> oh, dear, it's Avuzwa. It's a sign saying it must be bigger than, it must be bigger than four. <laughs> you made my day, Abuza. <laughs> oh, okay. Um Afika, uh, is your hand still up with this one? Yes, ma'am. Is it okay if we take the two x to the other side? So, yeah. But then it would become minus 2x. And so then we just need to be careful. But we are going to do questions when we have a negative just now. But it, it, it becomes a bit of a problem with inequalities. So if you can avoid a negative coefficient, you try and avoid it. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go through a couple here because we're going to break out into breakout rooms again at half past. So I just want to make sure we get all of the work covered before you guys move into the different rooms. So. Um, this one over here is, uh, this one you should be okay with. So try, try and, um, try and give this one a go. And then I'm going to go through this one's answer. And then I'm going to teach you, teach you another step before, before we do a little brain puzzle. But just be careful with it. Don't fall for my trap. I've set a trap here. Those of you who have been with me for a while know the trap that I have set. Those of you who don't know me well yet. Don't fall for my trap. If you if you are, oh, I don't want to say it because if you need to fall for it, you need to fall for it. But I'm warning you that there's something here which you shouldn't do.
a vuzwa. I see that hand. Ma'am, uh, are we allowed to distribute the four, the four, and uh, the four plus two into the x minus one, ma'am? Do we distribute the? Do we distribute the four in? Is the four part yeah, of that too? Like both. Yes, ma'am. Oh, no, that's my trap, Abuzwa. That's not part of this term. That four is by himself. Oh, the only thing that goes into this bracket is the two. Oh, okay. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, sure. Uh, Tim Sankwa? Um, ma'am, can I explain the expression, the question? Um, I'm going to go through these ones just because I don't want us to run out of time before we split. But thank you so much for offering. Oh, okay, thanks. Thank you. Okay, our first step here, I'm seeing some answers coming in for our first step. Our first step, we've got four. So if you've written a six, you've already gone wrong, then you walked right into my trap. Two times x, which is two x, and two times negative one, which is negative two, needs equal x. If you did six, x minus one is less than six, then you have fallen for the trap. You are in a trap door and you are in a sad place, okay? Always be careful with your terms. That's the separate term to that, so that four does not get distributed into that bracket. Now from here, I'm going to move our numbers onto that other side. So I'm going to have 2x is less than 6 plus 2 minus 4. So 2x is less than 8 minus 4, which is 4. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And I get x is less than 2. Who got this one right? Tell me who ended up getting this one right. Okay, I like it. I like it. Cool. I like it for the cheese, <laughs> not for the pirate. Yeah. <laughs> nice, guys. Cool. Okay. Now, remember, if you didn't get it right, it's, oh, you fell for the trap. Yeah, the trap was there for the for the reason. Um, if you if you didn't get this right, especially if you haven't done this in class yet, please don't panic. It's it's a learning curve. Okay. Uh, Chosi, I see that. Oh, oh, you guys are answering that. Go to right. Sorry. 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 Okay. Let's try another one. Uh, this one. Okay. So now we're bringing in some negatives. Okay. Now negatives, when we have an equal sign, don't cause us a problem. Because when I divide by negative 3, my answer would be x is equal to negative 2. And it doesn't matter where it would be. So if I had 6 is equal to negative 3x and I divided that side by negative 3, I'm still going to get an answer of negative 2. When we have an equal sign, it doesn't matter that we have a negative. We do the same thing we always do. The problem when we have an inequality is that if I divide, if I move that onto the other side to make him positive, he's on the other side of the crocodile's mouth. So at the moment, he's on the closed side of the crocodile's mouth. But if I move him, he's going to be on the open side. So then I would have zero needs to be less than 3x. And do you see what a difference that makes? It makes quite a big difference to our question. So now if I divided both things by 3, x has to be greater than zero. So let's just see what would have happened if I said negative 3x is less than zero and I just divided both of them by negative three. Okay. What's the problem? What's the difference between those two? Try and see if you can see what the difference is. Owami? Ma'am, that, that, that zero is greater than x. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so the problem here is that our signs are not in the same place. This is saying that x is greater than zero, and this one's saying that x is less than zero. They don't mean the same thing. They mean two totally different things. And so either you've got two options when it comes to a negative with inequalities. Your first option, because this is wrong, okay, your first option is to move so that it becomes positive coefficient. 
Okay, you can always do that if you want to. But the easiest option is when you divide by a negative, or if you multiply by a negative, you flip the sign. Okay, so if I have negative 3x is less than zero, and I'm dividing by negative three, so I'm dividing by a negative, I flip the sign. So this is the important thing to write down on your side. When we divide or multiply by a negative with an inequality, you flip the sign. And that's quite easy for us to think because if we think of divide and fractions, we think of KFC and KFC has a flip in it, right? And so we think, well, if we're dividing, we need a flip, but only if we're dividing by negative. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. Here again, I'm going to divide by negative three and I'm going to divide by negative three. So those go away. But because I'm dividing by a negative, my sign flips. So x will now be less than zero. So whenever we divide by a negative, our sign flips. I'm just going to go through a question here. I'm just going to do this one for you and then I'll let you try Sorry. one. Wait, wait. Yeah. Sorry. So the answers aren't the same if one says zero is greater than x and x is greater than zero. Will they yeah, not they be mean, the same? They're not, they're not the same answer. Uh, thank you. Because if, it, I yeah, just did one. yeah, if x is greater than zero, then it means that x is like one, two, three, four, five, any number greater than, than zero. But if x is less than zero, then x would have to be negative one, negative two, negative three. So they're two different answers. So we always have to be careful. Oh. Oh, thank you. Makes sense. Of course. Yeah, it makes sense now. Okay. So let's have a look at this question, guys. I'm going to do this one for you, and then I'm going to give you one to try, and then we're going to split up. So this is one term. This is one term. We always need to be careful with that. Okay. I've got my six. I'm going to take in my negative two. So I'm going to have negative two X. I'm going to take in my negative two. So I'm going to have positive two, and that is to be less than zero. Now I have six plus two, which is eight, but let's just move all of those over onto the other side. So I'm going to have negative two minus six. So I have negative two X is less than negative eight. Now I'm dividing by a negative. And when I divide by a negative, I have to flip the sign. So X is greater a negative and a negative is a positive. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So x is greater than 4. When you divide by a negative, you have to flip the sign. Okay. Chaucy, how can I help? Okay. All right. Let's see if you can try one of these by yourself. I'm going to just leave it like this so that you can see both. And I'd like you to give this question down at the bottom for me a try and see what your answers are. And as soon as you have an answer, please put it in the chat for me. Ma'am? Um, yeah. Um, isn't it the same when you um, have a negative divided by a negative? Isn't it the same as when they cancel out the negative, the two negatives cancel each other out? Isn't it the same? Yeah, so it is when it comes to a sign. So for example, over here, let me just highlight this for you. Here, a negative and a negative. So negative eight and negative two did give me a positive, right? So those rules are still definitely in play. The only thing that's different here is that when, we in, when we're doing an inequality, so when we have a greater than or less than sign, if we divide by a negative, then this sign, this inequality sign has to change. That's the only difference. Oh. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Sure. Kathy, is that hand up for help? All 
right, I'm seeing lots of answers come through for this one, which is great. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify my terms. I've got 3x and then I've got this negative 5 situation. So I've got 3x. I'm going to bring my negative 5 in. So 3x minus 5x. Negative 5 times negative 8 is positive 40. And that is less than negative 10. Okay. 3x minus 5x is negative 2x. And I'm going to move my 40 onto the other side. So I get negative 2x is less than negative 50. I'm going to divide by a negative. And when I divide by a negative in an inequality, my sign flips. And I have x is greater than 25. So those of you who got less than 25, you're just not flipping your sign. So just be careful. Okay. Tito, how can I help? Um, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, can you please explain this again? Because my um, network was bad when you explained. Okay, so when we when we go into the different rooms, just make sure that you choose the green room, sweetheart, and then Mr. Shongwe will make sure that he goes through it super carefully for everyone in the green room. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we, I, ooh, I suppose we might have enough time. Okay. If you don't get this in the next two minutes, I'm giving you the answer. So you are on an official time time limit for this puzzle question. Let's see if anyone can get me the answer to what that question mark would be in two minutes. And if you can, it will be very, very impressive. But let's see. I'll be so proud. Just remember to put your answer in the chat. And uh, not 38. <laughs> Winnie, not 45, not 36. No, no. 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 Ah, oh, Mukhle. Mukhle, you've gotten it. Can you tell us how you got there? Ma'am, to be honest, it's guessing. I said no. 13. <laughs> Okay. Anyone who knows? <laughs> Anyone Mama, I said minus 22 is 6. Oh, it's, uh, no. Okay, but who, who, Sinti minus 22 is 8. <laughs> you are, man, it's fine, man, it's just guessing. Okay, if Chantal. anyone got the answer, 6. If anyone got 6, then you Chantal? are absolutely correct. Chantal got 6, awesome. Okay, so the reason it's six, I'm just going to talk, talk you guys through this one just because our time is running out. But basically what it was, was you took this number and you squared it. So five times five is 25, and then you minus two and you minus one. So 25 minus three is 22. Six squared is 36, minus six is 30. Three squared is nine, minus three is six. And that was your brain puzzle of the day. Okay. All right, we are going to do the same thing we did in... Yes, hello. I've lost you. Have we Ma'am, for the... Ma'am? <laughs> yes, I'm here. Uh, Ma'am, for the last triangle, ma'am, could you also say 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6 or 5 am I wrong? We can't because it, that doesn't work in all our other triangles. That's why. Oh, so your, num your number is right. It's just okay. that it's wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm just going to quickly um, make these rooms for you. Okay. So basically what you should be seeing on your screen now, it says pick your breakout room. So don't, you don't need to write it in the chat. Don't stress. But the green room is if you are new. So if you are new to Watobi and so you're feeling a little bit lost, um, or if you didn't really understand the lesson, if you weren't getting the answers right, if you would like a little bit more of an explanation and some more time to make sure you know what's going on, then you want to choose the green room. If you felt like you understood what was going on and you want to take it up a step, so you want to try something a little bit harder than what you've just done, 
So it's not going to be the same level. It's going to be harder. Then you're going to go to the blue room. Okay, so green room is going to be more questions of this level and help to get there. And blue room is going to be a little bit harder. Don't worry about putting it in the chat. I'm going to open the rooms and you just pick and you go to the room that you want to go to. Okay. And they are open. So you should be able to choose. So you just choose which one you are wanting to go to. The blue room or the green room. And we will see you there.